The Indian federal government is considering whether to sell 10% of its stake in Indian Oil Corporation and 5% of its stake in the Oil and Natural Gas Corporation by March. The cabinet still needs to approve the oil ministry's sale recommendations, Oil Secretary S. Sundaration said on Monday. Indian Oil, India's largest listed company by sales, also plans to sell a 10% stake via the issue of fresh shares. Mr. Sundaration said, The government holds 78.92% stake in Indian Oil and 74.14% stake in ONGC, India's flagship oil and gas explorer. India is looking to raise 400 billion rupees, that's 8.6 billion US dollars, this financial year by selling a small part of its holdings in several state-run companies to fund social and infrastructure projects and reduce its fiscal deficit. It is set to launch an initial shares sale of Coal India Limited, the world's largest listed mining company, by production in October. Oil and Gas Explorer, OILX said it significantly upgraded its gas reserves in India, thanks to advances in extraction technology, sending its shares soaring more than 150% yesterday. Australian-based OILX said yesterday it estimated that the Cambe field in Gujarat holds 248 billion cubic feet of gas with a 90% of certainty of being produced, up from the negligible amounts previously cited. Oilex was the biggest riser in London yesterday, as the AIM listed firm closed to 125% up at 18p. The company drilled a number of wells on the field between 2006 and 2008 and found hydrocarbons, but they were tight reservoirs that could not commercially be used. Moving on, India is not standing by while the US and China scramble for Ghana's newfound natural resource, oil. When Cosmos Energy first put up its stake in Ghana's major oil field, the Jubilee oil field for sale, India was one of the first countries that declared its intention to buy. In December 2009, India offered to pay about 4 billion US dollars for Cosmos Energy's stake in the field. India's oil minister, Murli Deora, said reported, on Times of India as making a renewed push to open doors to Indian state-run firms in Ghana's oil industry. He made offers to invest in building new refineries in return for gas and equity in oil fields in Sudan, as ONGC Videsh is vying for a stake in the lucrative acreage in Ghana, according to the report. That's all the news making ways as of now. We'll be back with some more. Well, thanks for joining us.